Welcome to the video channel of Website.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your sidebar. So let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize your sidebar. And I'm going to start off by showing you how to add some widgets. So after you've logged into the editor, you can see your sidebar right here. And to add some content, just hover over the area and click on it. So you'll see here that we've already created a widget, um, latest blog entries, because I've previously created a blog. So you can add that to your page if you want by making it go online, clicking on that right here. So now let's add some content. So click this Add Content tab. So you can add Google Maps if you want. Just put in a title and just fill out these fields with your address. And here you can choose whether you want to align the address um, at the top or the bottom. You can choose how far zoomed in you want the map to be. And you can also choose how large you want the map size to be in relation to the website page. And you can also choose whether you want to show the map or not, or just show the address. So I'll create that, and it's been successfully created. So let's create some more. You might want to add Google Custom Search right here. And what that is is basically it allows your visitors to search within your site by using some keywords. So I'll just put in a title. And you do need a Google account email to create this widget. So I'll just type mine in here. And I'll create that. Now let's add Google Translate, and this is a really fun widget to add, so people from all over the world can translate your page and look at your website. And here, select the language that your website is in by default, just so we can translate it easier and create that. Now you might also want to add a PayPal donation link if you want to monetize your site by allowing visitors to donate to you or if you have a site for a charity. Um, this is a really good tool to have. So just click on that and make sure you do have a PayPal account before you create this widget. So put in your PayPal account email in right here. And you can set a price if you want, or you can allow your visitors to choose their own contribution amount. So I'll just create that. So you can add more options, but let's just take a look at what we have so far. So these are all the widgets that we've added. So let's go back. You can also add some social networking widgets. So you can add Facebook here by typing in your Facebook page URL. And you can also add a Twitter one right here. And create that. Let's go back to add content. And you can also add your own custom widgets by using our custom content tool. And this is what it looks like right here. So if you know the HTML and JavaScript codes, you can go ahead and input that right here. And a lot of our users like to add Google AdSense so they can monetize their site um, by collecting some ad revenue. So this is what the sidebar looks like so far. Let me just scroll. And if you do want to hide the sidebar on all of the pages or on just one of the pages, you can do that. So for example, if I don't want to see the sidebar on my product catalog, I can hide it um, using two methods. 
first I can just hover over this area and you'll notice you'll see this arrow right here. So if you just click on it, um, it'll say if you want to apply this change to all the pages or just to this page. So I just want to apply it to this page. Now that sidebar is hidden. You can also hide it by looking at this menu editor over here and hovering over the settings icon and you can hide the sidebar by doing that. And in the same way, you can also show the sidebar again if you change your mind by looking at this menu and hovering over the settings icon and choosing show sidebar. So again, you can choose to apply this to all the pages or just that page. So that's pretty much it. You've customized your sidebar. And if you have any more questions or comments, feel free to contact us at website.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to like us on Facebook. Mm -hmm.